Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to return back to France and take a look at their RIE or the Russian Individual Exercise. Now this is a cold meal, doesn't contain any eater kits and it's one of their, on their training exercise. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. So we now have here on the table this French individual ration exercise or RRIE. Now this is a single meal, expiry date 2021 and this is just a training ration I think when the troops are on a training, training rooms and I think these are meant to be eaten cold so they don't contain any heating elements. So simple box, clear plastic packaging, I'll just bring in a whole favourite knife of mine just to help with the package there and we'll see what this pack actually contains. Now it's sealed with a simple piece of tape. Most people now is into MREs would know the French 24 hour, have a nice long pull tab, but this is just a single meal kit. So let's have a look what's actually inside. Now let's move this to one side while we get everything out and straight off the top we have a very large 300 gram portion of salient, salad italienne, so Italian style salad. Let's put that to one side there. We have a pack of biscuits, army biscuits. There is a gatto, a caramel flavoured pudding. We have a terrine. And I'm not sure the contents of that. I'll have to do a bit of translation to find out exactly what that is, components wise. We have a pate de fruits, a little fruit jelly bar. There is a chocolate bar of 60% cocoa. Little packet of tissues or TP. So, as I say, that is the content. It's a single meal. There is no hot or cold drinks. I'm assuming that in the training rooms they'd be given coffee and tea and no heating kit meant to be eaten as is. So let's get this on a tray and see what these look and taste like. Now, as you can see, I have the contents of this French RIE on the tray and I think I'm going to start, there is no drinks like I normally like to start with so I just have a glass of water just to cleanse my palate. As I said earlier, I should imagine the troops get tea and coffee provided on these training exercises. So let's just get some of these open and see what they contain. Now the first one is a, a gato de caramel, so it's a caramel pudding. We'll just give that a little open, see what it actually contains. Now it does look a little bit sloppy there. I don't know if you can see a little bit of runoff, but I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that's a caramel style sauce and just how it's meant to be. Um, we have a familiar pate de fruits bar and to help with that, I'm just gonna bring the trusty knife back in. Just open the pate de fruits. And it looks like this one is a strawberry or raspberry flavor. We have the packets of army biscuits, a small pack this time, just containing two packs of biscuits. We should only be opening one of those. Now I did a bit of a translation and this is a pork and pork liver meat, so I should imagine it's a pate, so pork and pork liver, so let's have a look at that quite thick it actually looks more like a, a meat a meat loaf than a pate uh, the 60% chocolate bar now, looks like this one has already bloomed a little already starting to bloom there is four pieces I think it's just broken into two already starting to bloom which is surprising because there's still well over a year left on this date best before and finally the salad italian or italian salad 
Now, I've had problems with some of these French ring pulls before. Hopefully this one removes nice and easily. Have to be careful. That one came off nice and easy, which is nice. And I think, it, again, it came with no cutlery, so I'm going to bring in my German Army knife fork spoon set, which nestles together nicely. So, knife, fork, spoon. There's a little tin opener there and can opener, just put that to one side. So, where do we start? I think the safest bet would be to start with the mains. So this is the Italian salad. I can see some olives. Just give it a little bit of a move around. I can see some olives, some pasta, some green beans. There is some bell pepper. What looks like some ham or meat. So I think we'll start there. And start with a little bit of the, the meat cubes. Mm. Mm. There is a slight pepper and lemon flavour dressing over this. The whole thing tastes of a, a pepper and lemon um, salad style dressing. Little chickpeas, olives, huge chunks huge chunks of what well, I assume is pork there mm. very tasty very light very refreshing very filling and enjoyable cold meal predominantly through the the meal there is the lemon I would say lemon and black pepper seasoning but it's very delicately done, very nicely done, very tasty. There is little tiny pasta shells in there as well. Olives, green beans, what's not to like? Very enjoyable, very tasty, cold style salad. And it's very refreshing. So, let's have a look at the pork and beef. So, it's pork liver and pork meat. Terrine. Now it is a little bit thicker than a standard sort of paste or pate. Let's have a little taste of that on its own. Mm. The liver is there. It's not overpowering. It actually feels like there is liver chunks in there rather than paste as in a normal pate. So chopped up pork and pork liver. Giving it the distinctive iron liver flavour. Not at all unpleasant. If you are not a liver fan, you wouldn't enjoy that. But I do actually like liver, and that's a nice liver flavoured meat there. Let's have a look at these biscuits. Just open one of one of the packets. Not overly crisp, not overly crunchy. Slightly on the soft side, but a good basic I think these are the salt biscuits there is a taste of salt there in the background let's try a little bit with the with the meat make like a little cracker with meat there mm. good basic simple salted wheat flour cracker good base for the liver pork and liver terrine, put a little bit of the, the salad on there, hmm. dropping it everywhere, also very good additional bulking agent for the salad, if you require a few more calories, personally there's a healthy over 300 grams of pasta and meat chunks of ham, I think it's ham, and greens there, more than enough I think, more than enough for a hungry soldier. Just cleanse my palate a little. Let's get that liver taste out of my mouth before I move on to the caramel pudding. Now, 
huge great spoon um, far too big for this little dish but it does look like a dark caramel plenty of liquid not sure what that liquid runoff is hopefully it's just a sauce mm. it's a creamy caramel flavored pudding um, it's soft it just dissolves on the roof of your mouth between your tongue and your roof in your mouth there is a slight caramel flavor in there that is just a caramel sauce mm. very nice not overly sweet pudding style dessert I think it is what they sort of um, describe as a pudding in the US it's that sort of texture it's soft it's creamy it's caramel flavor very nice very enjoyable I'm certainly going to enjoy finishing all of this after this review I do eat the content and um, this will become my lunch there is a pate de fruits bar this particular one is raspberry and we've seen these a few times now they're just jelly blocks um, sugar coated not too hard Nice, soft, artificial raspberry flavour, but just absolutely packed with energy. You can see all of the sugar coating that good, energy rich, tasty sugar jelly bar. Back to my water. Another look at this 60% cocoa chocolate nice crisp snapping sound brittle chocolate crunchy chocolate mm. melts on your tongue coats your tongue roof of your mouth quite easily for me I've said this many times before now in my reviews I think personally 60% cocoa is about the right mix between the bitterness and the sweetness of the sugar you have you go above 60 percent and it tends to get very bitter you go below that and it becomes very sweet i do think the 60 percent is the ideal combination certainly this chocolate is not disappointing it's nice tasty good quality 60 percent cocoa chocolate so brief recap the caramel pudding it's soft it's creamy there is a lot of caramel flavoured sauce, um, it dissolves between your tongue and the roof of your mouth when you put it in your mouth, nice, tasty, sweet, but not overly sweet, dessert pudding. Pâté de fruits is just as it looks, it's a jelly bar coated in sugar with an artificial raspberry flavour, but that said it's still a very tasty, very energy rich a um, little bit of extra sweetness now the mains very tasty very enjoyable overall flavoring of a lemon and black pepper style dressing over there but that is delicately done it's very nicely done there are large chunks of uh, pork a lot of mini pasta shells there is beans red bell peppers I think there's sweet corn in there, there's black olives in there. Lovely, nice, light, refreshing, very tasty. The meat, um, not a pate, it is like chopped pork with chopped liver. Um, and as you can see, there are liver pieces. It does actually look very much like a tinned dog food, um, but that in no way is um, a negative it's just that sort of texture it's if you enjoy liver you'll enjoy that if you don't you won't there is a strong iron liver flavor but it's not overpowering the crackers good basic good basic wheat cracker these are so, slightly salty goes as a good base for either of the mains um, finally the chocolate nice 60 percent cocoa tasty crispy um, dissolves on the tongue and a very nice pleasant chocolate so I'm going to leave it here for this very simplistic single meal training meal 
the RIE. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.